Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I am actually just going to be showing you guys why legendary amp shields are bugged. This is basically why the one-shotter shield is so popular. Now, I am actually just going to be sending this video as a report to Gearbox of uh, why amp shields are bugged. And to also let you guys know who don't know why the one-shotter is so popular, um, it's because legendary amp shields are not working correctly. So let me show you what I mean. Now, basically, um, legendary amp shields do not work correctly with multi-pellet weapons. So I have a Sandhawk right here, and we have the one-shotter on. And we're just going to shoot the dummy with and without the amp. So we have 349k and 174k. As you can tell, this is actually doubling the damage. Our amp shield gives us 100% bonus amp. So it, should, so it should literally double the damage, right? Um... And yeah, so when we toss on a 0 0.M, um, this actually gives you, I believe, 125% um, bonus amp, which I will show you guys real quick with the Unforgiven. Um, like I said, this is a single pellet weapon, so it should work fine with the amp. So we have 10K and uh, 4,500. Um, I'm pretty sure this is 125% amp. I forget the exact number. But as you guys can tell, we went from 4,500 to about 10K. So it was just over half. Now let's do the same thing except with the Sandhawk. So we get 199K and 174K. Now, as you guys can probably tell, this is not giving you 125% amp bonus. And that is the issue with legendary amp shields is it is actually just giving us um one pellet worth of amp damage now um the issue with this and with amp shields is it leaves skills like playing dirty um useless because when you activate playing dirty you basically won't get the uh amp bonus to your second pellet this goes for flex two fang um i don't think there's many other ways you can add extra projectiles and uh, yeah, so just to show you guys, my guardian rank is off. Uh, Mayhem modifiers don't really matter for sanctuary. No skills. But um, yeah, so legendary amp shields basically do not work with multi pellet weapons. Um, and these amp rolls do work correctly. So if you find amp rolls on legendary shields, like a big boom blaster or a red suit, can both roll amp on them. And those will amp all of your pellets correctly. The issue is only with the rerouter and the 0.M. Um, so let me actually show you a rerouter. Now the rerouter gives us 120% bonus amp damage. Sorry, excuse me, excuse my controller. So let's show you guys with the Unforgiven. We do 10K and 4,500. So once again, this is working with single pellet weapons. And when we toss on our Sandhawk, we do 198 and 174. So basically, like I said, amp shields are not working correctly for multi-pellet weapons. Hopefully, if Gearbox can address this or fix this in the next patch, um, that is why the one-shotter shield is so popular. That's why, um, you know, me and other YouTubers have you guys hunting for literally a super rare purple amp shield. Um, and Gearbox released the 0.M, calling this one of the most powerful shields in the game. And that would be true if it amped multi-pellet weapons correctly. Um, the 0.M would actually be very, very useful. But right now in its current state, it's not. Because uh, you can only use this with weapons that are single pellet, like the Unforgiven. Um, even this recursion, how it has the times 2, a one-shotter shield literally adds more damage to any times 2 weapon. If a weapon has more than one pellet, the one-shotter shield is a better amp shield and um, yeah, so like I said, I will be reporting this to 2K. If you guys find any bugs, get some footage of it. I'm going to leave a link down below as well that you can report to 2K um, as well. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. If you like the video or learned something, go ahead and drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Borderlands 3 videos. But anyways, guys, like I said, that is it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.